Now we will review the report section. The view report is a section that can be done by anyone who has password authority. It can be done by the administrator or users, or it can be done for the interpretation of a report that may have been emailed and encrypted to you. You will need to have authority to use this. Enter your password and log in. It will bring you up to the view report. The reports are put in chronological order, the most recent at the top, and older reports would be at the bottom. You can scroll down to review the full list. The reports that you're seeing in this Select Report menu are the reports that are resonant on the memory storage of the tablet PC. If you choose to see a test, like the one we've been working with in our previous examples, we'll identify that one by highlighting it and then hit View Report. At that time, you're going to get the report that contains all the information available, the full review screen, and the final report. You're not able to change the data at this time, but you are able to add interpretation notes if you choose to do so. You can zoom in if you want to zoom a particular area, just like you did when you were doing the original test. The interpreter can also zoom in to see the same level of detail. They can also change to a bar chart if they desire, in addition to zooming in. They can also see the PDF version of the final report. Again, they will not be able to change any of the raw data or the calculations when doing a review of the screen. At this point, if you're done with that test and you want to go back and see another test, all you have to do is keep going back. And now you'll be back into the select report and ready to choose any other report that you'd like to review. If it happens to be a report that's been either emailed to you in encrypted form or is in a different folder than the one that's standard on the tablet PC, for example, the file is on a shared server, then you hit Select File. And then it goes to the standard Windows library, where you can find the folder that contains that particular test. You can pick up that test and highlight it and hit Open. It will load into the open space. Tap View Report and up comes that report from that particular file. Zoom in to selected parts of the data at any time. Again, you can add notes, but you cannot change the data in the report. If you need to add a note or impression to a file, you want to make sure that you save the file when you're in that section. In this example, we would tap View Report and the report will be generated. You may at this time add your note or impression to the report. For this example, we will simply state that the patient has a condition. Once you've added your note, tap the OK button. Now when you view the report, you'll see that your notes will appear at the bottom of the screen in the Notes section. If you choose to save that file, use an appropriate naming for the file, such as with the individual's name who's added the comments. Now it's a completely separate file with the new interpretation notes on the bottom. You can always tap back and go back to that file management screen at any time. This is also the way you can save specific files from your tablet PC. If you were to back up files to a server, you can select the files and identify them. You can also move or copy files using the standard Windows function. If you log out of the system, you will see that you will go into the standard Windows screen and be able to utilize all the standard functions that are included in the Windows 7 or Windows 8 system. If you have Microsoft Office loaded, you would be able to load those files as well. Again, it's a fully functioning tablet PC that has wireless interconnectivity. The tablet PC has an optional docking station, so you can connect it through hardwire and use a separate keyboard and mouse if you choose to do that versus the pointer pen. It also has built-in resident memory that can be utilized in the system. It has Bluetooth to communicate with our wireless manometer fob, and it also has Wi-Fi, so if you happen to be at a remote location, you can connect to the Internet via Wi-Fi.